hoping it's not too early for you. Uh, we are, it says live video is starting. I'm going to assume that it's going. Yeah, it's yeah. doing its typical okay. routine. We are going a little early today because we've got to be at meetings at 8 o'clock and uh, got places to go and people to see. Mm -hmm. So we're glad to be able to see you here. Uh, we're going to begin with hymn number 683 in the Lutheran service book, Jesus, Thy Boundless Love to Me. Jesus, thy boundless love to me, no thought can reach, no tongue declare. Unite my thankful heart to thee, and reign without a rival there. Thine holy, thine alone I am, be thou alone my constant flame. O oh, grant that nothing in my soul may dwell but thy pure love alone. O oh, may thy love possess me whole, my joy, my treasure, and my crown. All coldness from my heart remove, my every act, word, thought, be love. This love unwearied I pursue, and dauntlessly to thee aspire. O oh, may thy love my hope renew, burn in my soul like heavenly fire. And day and night be all my care to guard this sacred treasure there. In suffering be thy love my peace, in weakness be thy love my power. And when the storms of life shall cease, O oh, Jesus, in that final hour, be thou my rod and staff and guide, and draw me safely to thy side. We read from First Peter, verse one. I'm sorry, chapter one, beginning at verse six. In this you rejoice. Though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that tested genuineness, the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. So, I don't. I hope it's not everyone picks up themes and. I'm kind of obsessed with them. Um, so I don't know if you're picking this up, but this, all the devotions this week come under this category of the renewing work of the Holy Spirit. That is, uh, like last Sunday in baptism, that, he, that we are drowned and die and are raised to life again. So that renewing, we you lose your life in baptism in a sense and then regain it in a new life in Christ. Uh, then we talked about um, being created, the Holy Spirit being a part of our creation. And then we talked about uh, being unclothed and reclothed, like the prodigal son. You know, you throw off the old clothes and put on new clothes to be a new person because of the work of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and, uh, and then we talked about, um, well, that was yesterday. Uh, and so, and so this one, in this one, we are. These trials that come to the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. And, and Peter uses this imagery of a fire that burns away. Paul talks about it too. Uh, a fire that burns away your dross, the, the waste, and leaves just the precious metals and the precious stones and you know the gems and so on um, 
Matthew, in, in Matthew, Jesus says that he, he promises the Holy Spirit, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. That's John, John the Baptist saying, Jesus will come, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And there's no record of Jesus baptizing anybody with fire, except that the Holy Spirit is spoken of as a fire. There's this flame on Pentecost and this fire theme because fire destroys and purifies. Uh, in, in our hymn, we have a lot of metaphorical ideas about fire. In the, in the hymn we sang, uh, um, oh, let's see here. And the last, the end of the, la of the first verse. Thine holy, thine alone I am. Be thou alone my constant flame. And so we, we tend to think of, if Jesus is our flame, you know, the, this little gospel light of mine, or some little tongue of flame that is a light in the darkness. That's another scriptural image. Um, uh, or, or something that, turn on your heart light. <laughs> From, what movie is that? E.T. Uh, uh, this inner light right that kind of warms you or something the flame of the holy spirit in biblical imagery is more than just a little light that warms you this is something that transforms you and transformation by fire is not not an easy thing um, we used to do this in the tool shop uh, things would have to be hardened. You'd, you'd make a part, but it was going to go through, it was going to take a beating. And in order for it not to be bent and smashed and broken, you first had to harden it. And in order to harden a piece of steel, it would go in this furnace and be heated up, you know, to a certain temperature, brought out and quenched in, the, in oil or in water, depending upon the type of steel it was. And, uh, and that would make it harder. It would change the metal. It would rearrange the, the crystalline structure of the metal so that it, they were aligned and they were stronger. God rearranges your insides. The, the fire, the flame of the Holy Spirit, the, the things that we go through, the Holy Spirit uses we're the same people, but our parts are rearranged. Our thoughts are rearranged. Our spirit is rearranged so that we are aligned with Jesus, so that we are strengthened. We are, we are spiritually transformed to his image so that those those things uh, of our faith, which is of greater worth than gold, even though it's refined by fire, uh, which perishes even though it can be refined by fire, uh, our faith results then in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Our faith comes, our faith is shaped, our faith is strengthened by difficult things. I've often talked to people about, they asked for, they prayed for greater faith. They prayed for more faith. Well, how do you get more faith? You go through harder things. How do you get bigger muscles? You exercise them. How do you get more faith? You exercise your faith. And being forced to trust means other props removed. And, uh, and being thrown upon only the Lord. I don't know what you're going through today. I know we have a long list of prayers. And so some with cancer, various kinds, other illnesses, uh, there's still plenty with the echoes of the pandemic and, and what's happening there. There's a number of people uh, with COVID at our school. Uh, not seriously, nobody that I know of, but oh, what, a, what an irritation and frustration. Uh, financial challenges, the, the new inflation is kind of frightening depending on your circumstances. Uh, many changes around us that scare us and we say what are we going to do and we are helpless before them and so we depend on the lord and depending on the lord that's 
good exercise. The elevator's broken, you have to take the stairs. That's good exercise. Uh, and we have to follow the Lord in uncertain times, that's good exercise. The Holy Spirit is changing you. Don't know how, don't always know how, but he's preparing us to be his servants. Let's pray. Come Holy Spirit, fire from above. Burn away my sins and purify my heart with God's love so that my life mirrors Christ's faithfulness and service. O oh, holy fire, you who kill and make alive, I confess my sins to you today. I hold nothing back, known or unknown. I need forgiveness. Consume my dross with your flame. Put to death everything in me that opposes your purpose. Kindle in me a faith that trusts you. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace.